the least to greatest here. We are going to look at problem number 12. I don't have a pencil they're not using that I can borrow just for this class. No. Number 12. Like it or not, we're going to do 12 first. Oh, yeah. A pen, I don't care. Anything. Oh, wait, you're using it. Do I have one thing to write with? Wait, you have something on there? I just want to check off what I've done. Problem 12. Take a look, see here, children, problem number 12. No, it'll take me 15 minutes to get 12 up there. Right, there we go. Problem number 12. Uh, order of operations to simplify the following expression. First thing you do in order of operations is grouping symbols. And unfortunately, there's groups of grouping symbols here. Now, please, this is, this is what I think when I see this. The very last thing I'm going to do is do what? Subtract something from 20. Okay? Because everything inside grouping symbols must be done before I do something that's not in a grouping symbol. So I work my way inside this first. It should look like a little bit of a helicopter or a tornado when you're done. First thing you do is grouping symbols and then grouping symbols inside grouping symbols. So 3 minus 1 is 2. Is that right? Maybe I read the wrong answer. That could happen. Oh boy. I don't know what happened there. Okay. Then inside this grouping symbol, I have to do multiplication before subtraction. So 5 times 2 is 10. I don't know why it's doing that. 10 minus 10 is 0. And then 20 minus 0 is 20. Did I say that answer? Yeah. So 20 should be the answer. Now, if you got that wrong, please divulge to me where, where you went wrong, because that helps me understand if I didn't explain something right there. A number of you got it wrong, correct? Yeah. Matter of fact, I have on my paper that uh, 14 of you got that wrong. Somebody want to tell me what happened here? No, what happened? Um, I did, uh, I subtracted 10 minus 5 and then 9 times. Okay, and that, that, uh, I see that. Yeah, see inside grouping symbols, though, you have to work inside grouping symbols. The last thing you do is addition and subtraction. So if there's any multiplication to be done here, it has to be done there before that. Okay, you have to do this all down to one thing before you subtract from 10. I can see where that would happen there. Ma'am? No, that'll do it too. All right, we got to move on here. Let's see, next one I see is, well, really, problem number three. I don't know, let's just say what I got here. There are 12 girls and 15 boys in a classroom. What fraction of the students of students are girls? So they want this ratio. Students. Oh boy. Students to girls. Wait, no, what fraction of the students are girls? So they want to know what fraction of the girls over total students. How many girls are there? How many students are there? So that's what fraction of the students are girls, which is reduce it. Maybe that's going to be wrong. 3 goes into 12 4 times, 3 goes into 27 9 times, 4 nines. This was an aspect of proportions. You didn't say proportion of students to girls. It said what fraction of the students are girls. Well, wow, look at all the monkey water we cleared up. Oh, wait, we missed problem number. This is even worse still. The worst of all, problem 10. Most people say, yeah, that's it. That was the worst one. Take a look, see here. Uh, what is the area of a triangle with those vertices? First thing you would do is obviously you have squares on your paper. I don't. You know, you are going to make, and I, again, I would strongly suggest using a straight edge, a ruler for your system there. Zero, zero is right here. Uh, zero, three, one, two, three. 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, right, 1, 2, 3, 4, and you have what, this triangle, correct, 
Was that the right one? Yes. Somebody, how are we going to find the area of that? In order to find area, what do you have to find? The worst part about this is finding yeah, the base and the height. What two lines? I do something wrong. What two lines form a right angle? Do you see any two lines that form a right angle? No. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Okay. So you're going to have to figure out how to get two lines to form a right angle. Somebody who got it right. Landon? Um, you have to make another line that connects, that makes um, the two on the top um, the right angle. Like where? Are you saying from here to here? Here to where? Um, like from there over to the side. Oh, from here straight across? Yeah. I think you got it there. Take a look, see. If you draw this dashed line right here and make this the right angle, what two lines are perpendicular now? This one and this one. But I don't know the, the length of this line, do I? Yes, I do, because it's how far over? One, two, three. It is three from here to here, correct? How do I know that? Because it was three here. That's the same distance. What's the length of this line here to here? One, two, three. What's my formula for area of a triangle? Area, area is one half base times height. And my base and the height are the two that form the right angle, so it's one half of three times three. This is just like having one of those triangles where they give you this. So they draw this little dash line like this, and draw that over like that. And you use this line, this was 3, and this was 3. Half of 9 is? 4.5. Is that the answer? No, he said 6. 26. He said all the, um, the, the, what? The base is 4. No, because you don't want to use this part of the base. You don't go the whole way. Well, you said, no, you said. I don't know, I don't know, look at it. Zero, 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 three. No, it's three. Three, four. That's just how high it is. That doesn't make it makes with, like, dotted one. What? Are you saying I'm, what? No, it's not. Stop, what? It's three. Maybe I read the wrong answer. Two of the completely wrong. What'd you get? I got the wrong triangle. Wait, you drew the wrong triangle but got the right answer? Yeah. Uh, what are the odds? Wait, this is less than 5A problem 10? I still have 6. I'm going to have to look at that. How can that be six? Yeah, if you dot the line, the dot line. But, it, but you don't. You don't, you don't do that. Line. You don't do that in any triangle. On this one, you don't add this little piece to this. It's this and this. Did anybody else get four point five? So we did have some four point fives. Yes. I'm going to go and say that the book is wrong on that. For those of you that wrong, drew the wrong triangle and got the right answer, that shouldn't matter to you. What? I don't understand what you're saying, but I am telling you, if I turn this triangle, it looks like this. And when we have triangles, and you find the two four lines that form the right angles, this is the height, but you don't add this little chunk down to this to make the width, because then the whole triangle would be this big, and it would include this, but it doesn't include that. That's what I'm saying. If you look at, if you look at back when we did triangles, they will a lot of times give you a triangle that looks like this. And they'll give this little line that comes down like this, and they'll extend this line like this. This is the height, 
this little piece right here is the base or whatever, you don't include these ex this extra piece right here. Because if you did, then that triangle would be this whole triangle here. And it's not, it's just that piece. You only include this and that. So I'm saying, at this point, Mr. Hook, I'm going to say this wrong. And maybe they got it wrong. Truck. Into a reflection? Yeah, but at a reflection, it would look like this. And there's still not a right triangle there. And then go here? And then go here? And I'm gonna here. Let me let me show this to you. There's no possible way it could be six here. I'm gonna draw this like super big. I'm gonna show you this. Okay, so we had zero zero, correct? Yes. And zero three. One, two, three, correct? Mm -hmm. And three, four, three, right? Was it three, four, four, three? Four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Right here. And our triangle was this, and this, and this. If I were to connect these little lines and make squares out of this thing, there's no way I'm going to come up with six complete squares and all that, I don't believe. I get one, two, almost three there. Maybe this one and this one would make three, and then maybe this one and this one would make four, and then there's a half of one there. There is no possible way that six is going to be my answer, because if you did this on a regular piece of graph paper, and you counted, you tell me that you're going to get six total whole squares, even if you put the pieces together? I don't think it's possible. I'm going, Mr. Book, you're fired. So just know when we do that when you do this, you want to pick you want to pick the line that's on one of the axes to be the base and then just go draw a straight line to it. So we need to move on because we don't have that kind of time. I'm just going that, that the book is incorrect on that one. I'll look and see if they have maybe there's an answer key here somewhere. I don't know. Oh wait, wait. Hold on a second. Although I have been wrong once before. Oh, you know, I was wrong when I was wrong. What is what? No one was this? Five, right? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It says three units and four units, and it's not. It's three and three. I am telling you this is incorrect. Let me look at letter. Let me look at the. Huh? I'm not going to call it. Let's move on. Oh wait, sorry. That would be why most people miss that one. Uh, let's next. It seems like we did. Uh, we might as well do eleven because it seems like it's also in that same sort of category. Where's eleven? Next page. Eleven on the next page. Yes. Yeah. We're down here somewhere. Up top. Oh, not another triangle. Find the perimeter of this triangle, children. Well, perimeter means that you add this plus this plus this, except I don't know this. Somebody, anytime I have a right triangle and I'm missing one of the lengths, the first thing that pops in my mind is, uh, Kaylee? Yeah, Mr. Pythagorean and his theorem. Pythagorean theorem. All right, and then I look for, hopefully I find a triple. Is there a 6, 8 triple? Oh, no. Now I feel deflated. What do I then look for? Yeah, you look to see if there is a reduced triangle, an equal ratio triangle, in which case, in this case, what happens here? If I cut these both in half, 
and draw a triangle, I have a 3, 4 triangle. And then I look to see if there's a triple that goes with that relation. 3, 4, 5. 5 is not my answer here because that's the small version of it. I need to make it go back to the big. What am I doing? To go from 3 to 6, I double to 4. From 8, I double 5 to 10. Now I know my three sides. It's 10 plus 8 plus 6. And that's where hopefully 24 comes from. Alex? Can we use our triple sheet yeah. on Yeah, always. Yes, absolutely. You can have your triple sheet out. Okay. Everybody get that ratio thing? I mean, you got to be able to see that. They could not possibly put down every triple because there's an infinite amount of them. So you just have to be able to recognize. When you see, it's like reducing a fraction. If you see 6 eighths as a fraction, can you reduce that? Yes, you can. Divide them both by 2. That's your small triangle. And then you look to see if your small triangle has that proportion ratio thing there. Ooh, life goes on. Um... Sure, now I'll entertain other ones there. Those didn't cover your things there. Somebody shoots something at you there. There's, I see there's more people that miss themselves. Caitlin? Number five. Number five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah. You always get struggled with the expanded thing. What is that called when I expand? It is what property? The distributive, and you just have to remember that. You are distributing out. Okay, this parenthesis means multiplication. If I have 3 times 6, that means I multiply 3 times 6, and that's 18. So this, this 3 times this whole expression, and to do that, I need to distribute out or pass out or hand out 3 times this and 3 times this. I multiply the 3 times both of those. What is 3 times x? It's just 3x. What is 3 times a positive 4? Positive 12. And that's as simple as that's as much as you can do with that right there. It just gets rid of that. Well, I know there's more out there. Don't. No. Okay, Brown. Number eight. Anybody know what number eight is? The middle of the. What is the measure of angle A? As it would be. Not A, but B. Measure of angle A. What type of triangle is this? Two equal sides makes it isosceles. A triangle has a total of how many degrees? 180. You have 58 here and 58 there, which is a total of 116 degrees. So you just have to say, okay, I have 116 degrees. I need to subtract that from 180 to figure out what's left, which is... 64 degrees. That has to be how big angle A is. Because those three have to add up to 180. All triangles all the time. All the time. Work with me, kids. Work with me. Somebody going once, going twice. Logan. Number four. Number four. Number four. Number four. Let's change this to a hot pink. Norton started driving at 9 a.m. By noon, he had traveled 162 miles. What is his average speed? Oh, never mind. Sorry. If you were to do this, the first thing you have to say is, what is speed measured in? If somebody says how fast you are going, you would say, I am going blank. What's my label? You are going miles. The word per in math is a fraction line. Hour. So you want miles on top, 162, and hours on the bottom, 9 a.m. to noon is 3 hours. You went 162 miles in 3 hours. We want it to be miles per 1 hour, so I just divide my 3 into 162, which happens to be 54 mph. We know that Chevy is the MPG of MPH. No, more well, MVP of MG MPH. Nobody understands that. Ask now or forever hold your keys. 
I should pull out an actual graph. Maybe I'll do that and prove that to you. But there's no way that answer to that function is six. I still there's still see skeptics out there. I'm gonna find it. There are skeptics out there everywhere. Give me time. We are going to what? Math? We see math on here somewhere? Yeah, mathematics. We see graphs. Yes, graph. Templates. I want an XY graph large. Anybody say XY axis large? I see it. I want large though. Oh, 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 oh. oh boy. You take a look here, kids. I am actually going to do this as best I humanly possibly can, just so you can tell. Okay, again, our point was 0, 0, 0, 3, and 3, 4. And I'm going to draw a straight line because I'm just that good at straight line. What color line would you like? Purple. Blue. Purple. 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 Blue. So I've got this line, I've got this line, and I've got this line. Now just because I get it any bigger. Okay. Area is how many squares are contained in that. And I'm telling you, there is no possible way that you're ever going to get six whole squares out of that. I definitely have this one. That's one. one. If I put this piece, maybe with this piece I end up with two. If I put this piece with this piece, maybe I get three. Okay. And quite possibly, I don't know, if I add this and this, Maybe there's a four, maybe, and there's no way this piece with this piece is going to give me two more. Okay, maybe half, and that's what we came up with four and a half. The book has to be wrong. We have this for three. You draw your dash line right here and make a right angle here. This is three from here to there. Three times three. You don't count this. Because then it would then it would have been that whole triangle right there, and it would have been a right triangle, and it would have been there. Is there another way I can prove that that point? Probably not. Wait, there is one way. Do you want a homework or do you want me to prove this? Oh no, you just are trying to get out of. Here, here's how we'll prove it. Here's how we'll prove it. Stupid for you, I will prove this. I'm going to make this purple. Okay, let's make, here we go, let's make a box. Let's make a rectangle that we know for sure what the area is. I'm going to go here, here, and here, and here. Wait a second. Okay. If I am talking about this whole thing, that whole thing, are you in agreement that the area is 3 times 4 and it's 12? Correct? Mm -hmm. That whole thing is 12. Now, if I take away the area of this triangle here and the area of that triangle there, I'm left with the triangle that I want. So let's do that. Let's erase this triangle here. Let's get the area of that because we can find that because we have two right angles there, correct? We have this right angle here. What is the area of this triangle? It's 1, 2, 3 by 1, 2, 3, 4. 3 times 4 cut in half is 6. So I can take 6 away from this and what I have left is all of this. Now I can subtract this little chunk right here, what's the area of that triangle? It is 1 by 3. 1 times 3 cut in half 
What is half? Three cut half is? Half of three is? 1.5. I take 1.5 away from the six that I had there, and I end up with four and a half. 4.5 is what this has to be. Last time, anybody for asking a question? No. I don't know why I got number 19. There, somebody said something. Thank you. Ryan knows if he doesn't ask now. I mean, this is the one. Ryan doesn't know why he got number 19 wrong. I want this. Where is number 19? Is that on this page? It's on this page. I don't know where the next page is. Is this it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ryan says I don't know what's up with mine. Ryan, let me ask you a question. Did you do this subtraction on top first before you divided by two? Did you write yes. the problem down? Did you do it again? Yes. So you took. 2.4 and subtracted 0 0.24. Line up, line up the decimals. 3, 10, 6, 1, 1.16. And divided that by 2. No, I just did 0 minus 4 and got 2 somehow. What? <laughs> Thank you.